The square root of the natural log of x is a composite function, so to find its derivative, we'll need to use the chain rule, which I've written here. Now, we need to know what the outside function, the f of x, and the inside function, the g of x, are. In this case, the natural log is inside the square root, so f of x is square root of x, and g of x is ln x. Let's apply the chain rule. When taking derivatives, it's often helpful to rewrite radicals as powers, which is what I'm gonna do here. The square root of ln x is the same as ln x to the power of one half, and this is what we are taking the derivative of. Again, the outside function is the square root, or that power of one half. And we need to begin by taking the derivative, f prime of g of x, of that outside function and leave the inside function unchanged. To take the derivative of a thing to a power of one half, we're just applying the power rule. We need to bring the power down as a factor, leave the inside unchanged, that's our g of x, and reduce the exponent by one. One half minus one is minus one half, and that is f prime of g of x. The last part of the chain rule then is just to multiply by g prime of x, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is ln x, and the derivative of ln x is just one over x. And there you go, that is the derivative of the square root of the natural log of x. We could of course rewrite it some. In the denominator, we have two as well as the x, so we could just put two x in the denominator. And ln x has a negative power, so it's also in the denominator. And since the power is one half, we could write that as a square root. So square root of ln x, and that's just another way to write the derivative. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.